I know. I've been going through a lot of stress, too. Sometimes when things get tough, I have to get mic'd up. It's easier to be quiet and sit in the shadows. Okay, this is like a whole situation. Danielle Seawalker wasn't raised to be the hiding type. So my dad was um, a very strong voice and person in my life who, who once told me, Danielle, if you don't speak up, nobody's going to do it for you. And Wednesday night, Danielle was an invited guest at the Vail Symposium. You know, the Mother Earth, Unchi Maka, Grandmother Earth provides everything for us. She spoke about her culture and life as a Lakota woman and artist. Um, in this one, her, her mouth is sort of blacked out. I tend to do a lot of pieces where it's being censored or silenced. Interesting and ironically enough. A month ago, Danielle was disinvited by another Vail institution dropped from the Vail Artist in Residency program. It's kind of an elephant in the room. You know, I'm happy that I'm here. I was supposed to actually be here creating a mural in Vail Village this week. She'd sold a different piece of art in March that drew a connection between Native American genocide and what's happening in Gaza. All right. Vail's Art in Public Places said they worried about potential politicizing of the public art program. Because I, I think about like how our people have been silenced and how we're continuing to be silenced. The invite from Vail Symposium to speak still stood. Yeah, thanks for having me here. And the importance of having diverse conversations, uh, even when they're not easy, makes them that more important. Okay, so has anybody been to North Dakota? <laughs> it is very not diverse. Um, at least when I was growing up, it wasn't. Dad would be proud that his daughter didn't lay low. I'm the first generation born in my family who is fully has the legal rights of everybody else in this country. Danielle will always speak up <laughs> yeah. so that no one pushes her message down. In Vail, Ann Herbst, 9 News.